Hello Scorpio, welcome. Thanks for tuning into my channel. This is Ren from Aces of Ren Tarot. And today we're going to do your general love reading. So it's a general reading, so it may or may not resonate. So only take what resonates and leave the rest. And this is for June 10 and onwards. So remember time is fluid, so this may be happening in the past, present, or future. And I have shuffled the whispers of love and the or, uh, romance oracle uh, cards for you. So I feel like you have found your true love. This is a romance of a lifetime. And uh, however, you're disconnecting from the world. So I feel like this is giving you a little bit of cloudy skies. You're kind of depressed. And you're being asked to look around you that there is love everywhere all the time simply acknowledge this is the truth and um, you might be asked to do something for someone so give your attention to another and we're going to do your traditional tarot card reading so our first card is the four of cups highest that you can attain is the hermit we have the ten of swords underneath you in the past there's a four of wands and in the probable outcome if there's nothing will change in your circumstances is the nine of wands so in the coming weeks we have the eight of cups and the king of swords okay so at the bottom of the deck for the four of cups is the fool so um you have been focusing on your past activities or happenings. You're kind of not moving on, you're kind of sitting still and stuck and you're missing some opportunity. You're being asked to um, take a leap of faith with the full card. And then for the Hermit, um, we have, it's a self-discovery. You might be alone or this is the highest that you can attain. So some self-discovery, um, being a light to others, um, finding answers. Um, this could be because you have been, there's so many things being offered to you and you're confused on what to take or you've been thinking too much um, that you're in the clouds a lot or you're not moving. So you're being asked to do some meditation here and ground yourself with the hermit mode. You could be dealing with the Virgo uh, Scorpio. Okay, so someone is still thinking of, you could still be thinking with this uh, of this person or this person still thinks about you. They can't just get you off of their mind. That could be another meaning that. So we have underneath what's hidden is the 10 of swords this talks about um, past hurts past disappointments and you're on your last sword here and you're gonna be um, going through it going to a, a new chapter of your life and this new chapter brings you abundance you could be dealing with the uh, earth sign still um, Virgo Capricorn Taurus um, or this could be you finding yourself again after this past hurts here um, looking beautiful and and um, abundant. So in the past, you could have someone wants to return. This person could have promised you uh, to achieve. I mean, you could have achieved something really good. Um, it you thought it was um, a divinely planned thing but um, let's see uh, yeah and in the most probable outcome you have is the nine of wands so I feel like you're oh you're gonna come out of this as a wounded warrior so wounded warriors they they have uh, they're on guard and they're still ready to um, go towards their desires they're still full of energy even though they're wounded and I feel like you're 
you could be um, can you could be thinking of uh, an heiress person moving forward um, and thinking about them, or they could be thinking about you, um, Scorpio. And then we have in the in the next two months, I can see you walking away from the past, completely disconnecting yourself from it, and going towards your Ten of Pentacles. So this talks about um, uh, longevity, your pet, harmonious relationship, children, and you have achieved your coins. So there's coins raining on you, and this fe I feel like there's so much um, happiness and abundance and security here once you've completely disconnected yourself from the past. And um, the last card is the King of Swords with the uh, World card. So you you are. Um, you're being too critical about everything um, and y in this new chapter that you're on so you're you're just being too critical in this new chapter so you want to make sure that things will that's why I think you're hesitant you want to make sure that things will be right this time around so there's new chapter I also feel like yeah you're too critical you you might not be really moving on you're think, thinking too much all right so thank you so much for watching Scorpio that's all I got here I hope that helps and you have a great day